He is known for his discovery of the Doppler effect in canal rays and the splitting of spectral lines in electric fields, leading to the phenomenon known as the Stark effect. He is recognized for his contributions as a German physicist, receiving the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1919 for his groundbreaking work. His name is Johannes Stark. In the annals of scientific history, one name stands out, Johannes Stark, a German physicist whose contributions to the field are truly remarkable. Born on April 15, 1874, Stark's groundbreaking work on the Doppler effect in canal rays and the splitting of spectral lines in electric fields earned him the prestigious Nobel Prize in Physics in 1919. This groundbreaking phenomenon, now known as the Stark effect, revolutionized our understanding of light and its interaction with matter. Stark's journey in the world of physics began at the University of Munich, where he earned his PhD under the guidance of Eugen von Lommel. He then went on to serve as Lommel's assistant before becoming a lecturer at the University of Göttingen in 1900. His brilliance and dedication to his craft led to his appointment as an extraordinary professor at Leibniz University Hanover in 1906 and later as a professor at RWTH Aachen University in 1909. While Stark's scientific achievements were undeniably remarkable, his involvement in politics tarnished his legacy. From 1924, Stark became a supporter of Adolf Hitler and played a significant role in the anti-Semitic Deutsche Physik movement, which aimed to remove Jewish scientists from German physics. He was appointed as the head of the German Research Foundation in 1933 and served as the president of the Reich Physical Technical Institute from 1933 to 1939. However, after World War II, Stark faced consequences for his actions and was found guilty as a major offender by a denazification court in 1947. Johannes Stark's life is a complex tapestry of scientific brilliance and political controversy. While his discoveries in the field of physics continue to shape our understanding of light, his involvement in anti-Semitic movement serves as a reminder of the ethical responsibilities that come with scientific knowledge. It is through the stories of scientists like Stark that we are reminded of the profound impact science can have on society, for better or for worse. In the early 1920s, Johannes Stark, like many others, became a supporter of Adolf Hitler. As the Nazi regime took hold, Stark actively promoted the Deutsche Physik movement, which aimed to discredit what they termed Jewish physics, championed by renowned scientists like Albert Einstein and Werner Heisenberg. Stark sought to become the leader of German physics, advocating for a physics that aligned with the Nazi ideology. One incident that showcased Stark's extreme views occurred when Heisenberg defended Einstein's theory of relativity. In response, Stark penned a furious article in the official SS newspaper Das Schwarzkorps, labeling Heisenberg a white Jew. It was a clear indication of Stark's anti-Semitic beliefs and his commitment to the Nazi cause. In August 1934, Stark sent a letter to Max von Lau, a fellow physicist and Nobel laureate, warning him to conform to the party's ideology or face the consequences. The letter concluded with the obligatory Heil Hitler, emphasizing Stark's allegiance to the Nazi regime and his willingness to enforce its principles. Stark solidified his views in his 1934 book, National Socialismus und Wissenschaft, National Socialism and Science. In this work, he argued that scientists should prioritize serving the nation, focusing on fields of research that would benefit German arms production and industry. He condemned theoretical physics as Jewish and insisted that scientific positions in Nazi Germany should only be held by individuals of pure German blood. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.